and Chancellor Wells always said, dream no small dreams. And it was a big dream. So many of the students have done so many important things in their lives in the last 30 years, and they've begun to fulfill exactly the things that we hoped for them. Uh, for me personally, being involved with and helping to found the program has been one of the things I'm most proud of. The Wealth Scholars programs meant a lot to me personally then, but also it's meant a lot, I think, to the university. No one knew when the program started what its ultimate effect would be, but I think now that we can say that the program has been one of the best things that happened to Indiana University. It's brought top students to Indiana University, both from the state, that is, held good students here, and attracted good students from around the United States and eventually internationally as well. Well, scholars are contributing both to the world, but also back home in Indiana to our state. Herman Wells loved students. He loved to be with them when people would come up to him and right, right into the last years of his life when he was in a wheelchair, he would reach his hand out like the statue on campus and ask them where they were from, what they were studying and what they wanted to do with their lives. And those were not rhetorical questions. Those were sincere, deep questions. He was a man who cared profoundly about the nurturing of young people, about welcoming, welcoming them to this university, but also urging them to do good work in the world. As we celebrate 30 years in this program, I hope that the graduates from the Wells Scholars Program will remember one of the central values that Herman Wells embodied in his own life, in his work as president of the university, and in the creation of this program named in his honor. And that is the, to recognize that with great gifts go great responsibilities. The gift of intelligence, of imagination, of a talent in one field or another, the gift of a world-class education paid for by donors and by taxpayers, that all of these gifts should leave one with a sense of responsibility for using them in ways that are of use to other people. Looking back on 30 years of the Well Scholars Program, a significant fact is that it was the perfect way to honor Herman B. Wells for his incredible contributions to Indiana University. The program serves as a living memorial to Wells and to his ideals and accomplishments. I am proud that the Well Scholars Program has fulfilled its mission of bringing together a group of outstanding scholars. The Well Scholars Program provides a structure that emphasizes the importance of leadership and service together with academic excellence. It was also a pioneer in providing funding and opportunities for international travel for all of its scholars. It gives us great pride to watch our Well Scholars take their talents into the outside world after they graduate. The Well Scholars Program focuses on recruiting students who will stand out in their accomplishments and contributions, and we're delighted that this has turned out to be the case. I arrived on campus as a junior faculty member in 1973, and for the first 30 years that I was on campus, I cannot actually remember attending a university event where I didn't see Herman Wells. Uh, he appeared to be present at sports activities, at lectures, at musical performances. Uh, he seemed to be everywhere. And it was easy to believe that he was the embodiment of Indiana University Bloomington. Uh, it was absolutely inspiring. What makes me really proud about the Wells program is when I get a message or a letter from someone and they say, I could never see myself doing this, but I'm doing it now because of opportunities that you gave me, of opportunities that I was given at Indiana University. To me, that is essentially our mission accomplished in many ways. 
essentially helping them to be, to become the best version of themselves, of what they always wanted to be. And we offer the, the tools, um, the resources, uh, the, the support that will get you started on that path. Then probably the most important message for me would be we are connected by very powerful ties. And these ties connect us also to the world outside. They have an obligation, they carry an obligation uh, for us to always be mindful of the community around us. And the Wells program in a sense models that kind of connectivity. For me, that is perhaps uh, the most important lesson that I learned when I started out as a Wells director, and it's something I cherish the most in thinking about my work.